Hello and welcome, my name is Evan Butson and this is a Premiere Pro CS5 quick tip. For those of you who've uh, used uh, Adobe Premiere for a few uh, versions now, you might remember back in CS3 there was a uh, separate little application that came with the Windows version of um, uh, Production Premium and Master Collection called Ultra, or the Ultra Kia. This was one of two applications that uh, Adobe uh, purchased or when they purchased a company um, known as Sirius Magic, the other one being DV Rack, which has become on location. Now, the Ultra Kia was a great little utility for keying DV footage um, very quickly. With CS4, uh, Ultra went away and uh, quite a few people sort of missed it uh, sorely. But the reason was is because Adobe have been working very hard at integrating the Ultra Kia directly into Adobe Premiere. Now I think it's fair to say that the chroma key in Premiere recently or in, in any previous version of Premiere has not been uh, great. It's not really been a key that you could use uh, on production level uh, jobs um, and get a good result. Uh, a lot of people really would have just pretty much have to go to either a third party key or using uh, Adobe After Effects and using the uh, Keylight uh, plugin. However, for instance, you may have purchased only Premiere, not the Production Premium uh, bundle, and then you really do need a, a strong keyer within Adobe Premiere. In conjunction with the Mercury Playback Engine, which um, is, has been added into uh, Premiere CS5, the Ultra Keyer really now gives you a good way of being able to pull keys off DV material very quickly, very fast. And it doesn't have to be specifically DV material, but you do get a very good result from the sort of the lowest common denominator, which would be DV. I'm just going to go ahead and drag a couple of shots in here. It's just some standard standard definition DV material that was shot. I'm just going to use the quick utility to make a new timeline. And I've got a background here, a nice little CG background. And so there we have my piece of material. And I've got a couple of things going on here. I've got some um, some lights, I've got a boom mic here, people holding the, the lines that the actors are supposed to be able to, to say. And so I've got some issues I'm gonna to need to clean up as well. First things first though, I'm gonna go ahead and find my Ultra Kia. Um, I've already got a quick search in here for the Ultra Kia. And you can see here that the Ultra Kia has the little icon for accelerated effect. What that means is if you are using either a Quadro 4800 or a GeForce GTX 285, you, this is an, a hardware accelerated effect, which means, especially if you're doing a high def key um, from high def material using the Ultra Kia, you will still get real time playback um, from this Kia um, um, on, 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 on a standard system. This, I'm running this on a MacBook Pro, a 13 inch, however, um, so pretty much the lowliest laptop you can run uh, CS5 on. However, I'm still going to get real time playback with Ultra uh, because of the Mercury playback engine. I'm going to drag and drop that Kia onto my clip here. And let's go ahead and do a very quick select of color. And there's my key. Not too bad. It looks fairly good on the screen here. If I was to, have, however, pull up my Alpha channel, you can see I've got a fair bit of. Uh, uh, problems to deal with here. Uh, this isn't really a keying uh, lesson as it were, so I won't go through too much detail um, about how to create a, a perfect key, but I do know with this particular clip, if I dial the pedestal down, I generally get a fairly good result pretty quickly, like so. Turn back to my composite view, excellent. I'm now gonna have to deal with the fact that I've got my uh, uh, crew still in shot, so I'm gonna use the garbage mat. And if I could spell garbage mat, that would also really help. Once again, you can see the garbage mat is, is an accelerated effect. You can see also that it is both a 32-bit effect, effect and a YUV effect as well. I'm just going to use the 8-point garbage mat, like so. Click on that. That should be more than adequate. It's going to go back to, let's say, 25%, so I can see the outer uh, boundary of my garbage mat. And there's my garbage mat there. And I can just drag these handles in to get rid of my offending crew, as it were. Excellent. Now you see, because on my laptop, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm running a fairly scroll, small screen, I've got my playback resolution set to half. Even though I've got a red line, because of the Mercury playback engine, I can press play, and this is playing back in real time. And if I can go and set, set this to 100%, you can see 
there's the motion there of the person talking. Unfortunately, this is not a perfect clip to show motion because there's not a lot going on there. But at 50%, I can very quickly see, and as soon as I press pause, it then locks in at 100%. So if I go and scale up there, you'll see that's my DV material. As soon as I press play though, you get that nice little pixelated in this because it's running at half or 50%. But still, the fact that I can actually play back a chroma key with a garbage mat uh, in real time off um, a fairly lowly laptop means that in terms of editing, I can really get a, a very good idea of my key without even having to render my clip. So that's the Ultra Kia and also making use of the uh, Mercury playback engine. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, definitely keep an eye on my website. Um, I will definitely have a lot more of these uh, quick tips for CS5, as well as I will also have links for my upcoming uh, Adobe Connect sessions uh, for running through all the new features of Adobe CS5 in a little bit more detail. Thank you very much.